So guys and girls, here goes the uncut, raw version of me talking to my cell phone. <laughs> nah, um, it's gonna be uncut, a vlog, and the topic today, folks, of discussion is how to maintain your physique and your all-round health, really, in terms of your mental health as well, because we, uh, over the festive period, sorry, you know, Christmas time, New Year, and you can even apply it to anything like the Americans. You can use this for Thanksgiving or, you know, but it's primarily over Christmas where I notice people set themselves up for failure. Ouch, this is aching my arm. Um, <laughs> need, to get, need to get down to the gym more often. Anyway, um, yeah, so how to stay in shape over the festive period and essentially not to put on too much body fat and, and take two steps back because, you know, we put a lot of work in trying to maintain our physique. You know, and there might be some of you out there don't even train that often and are looking to, uh, you know, just looking to start from scratch and, and you know, get into shape. So these kind of, these kind of rules will apply to you as well. Uh, I say rules, I mean these kind of tips will apply to you as well. Just festive period. So we all tend to over, overindulge, right, over the uh, Christmas period. And what happens then is we, we lose our motivation going into the new year. I get it all the time, time and time again. Um, as a personal trainer, in January time is always a really, really busy month, right? So I have people who just, can, most people just completely go off the wagon. And it's this, um, you know, on or off mentality, which um, I'm trying to, to help people with really, uh, and find a balance and including myself. I have the same mentality. I go on or off from time to time, but I'm the most balanced I've ever been right now in terms of uh, maintaining my physique all year round, feeling healthy for the most part, and, and that's the place you want to get to really, where you can just, you don't have to think too hard about being in shape. You know what things you can apply. Okay, so tip number one, try to cut back a little bit on calories and, and undulate your calories, okay? So that means maybe uh, a day before Christmas day or maybe two days before, it's just a little too crazy leading up to it, you know, um, because people tend to just go off. They're drinking for like drinking and eating everything inside for for like two, three weeks and all the rest of it. And it's just it's just not a nice feeling then when it comes to January and you, you know, you're feeling you feel terrible, you know, you feel lethargic. And the bottom line is no good for your health. So try to uh, I'm going to stand still a minute. Try to basically cut back on your calories a little bit a day or two before. Okay, so that means just maybe not overeating carbs um, and just try and have like plenty of veg, um, lots of lean meat like, uh, you know, chicken, lean red meat, even like salmon, fish, all that kind of stuff, eggs and whatnot, and plenty of veg, you know, get some fruit in. Um, just don't eat, overeat the carbohydrates, bread, pasta, cereal, that kind of stuff. Try and avoid it leading up to it um, or just cut it down for a few days before. And just have like some low calorie days leading up to it essentially and then when you get to christmas day uh, boxing day and whatnot go all out um but just try and be mindful that it should be more a case of you know it should be socially cleansing it's a time to spend with your loved ones and your nearest and dearest so when you get to the point when you're eating and you've had like your big dinner and then you're having dessert and stuff which is all good you know get stuck in but when you start feeling a bit, oh, I feel full now, and you start feeling a bit of discomfort in your, in your gut, that is the signals, uh, you know, your brain is sending the signals for you to stop, right? So that is what you should be doing, really. Um, just try and be mindful of the signals and don't eat yourself into a coma. It's not really necessary. Uh, but even if you do, I tend, I do it most years. <laughs> so I'm preaching as if I'm perfect, but I'm definitely not. <laughs> um, yes, try, try to, uh, you know, just be mindful of that. Um, the following morning then, maybe you could fast in the morning so just go for a walk with maybe with some family and friends um, and just just don't eat the next morning drink some water maybe have a coffee and just give yourself a bit of a break from all the calories um, I sometimes do like you know a, a solid 20 hour fast so say for example I start eating at 10 p.m. on Christmas Day the next day then I'll break my fast maybe um, at about I don't know 5 6 p.m. and yeah and that'll be it then but that's a bit extreme even if you just have the morning from away from eating 
and then don't go straight for the cereals and the chocolates and cakes straight away the next day. Just try and be mindful. Get some nutrients in, get some veg in, get a decent meal in, some leftover meat or whatever. Um, and just don't go too overboard the, the following days afterwards because you really are setting yourself up for failure really. And also move in here, like I said, keep walking. Um, so stay active. Lift some weights as well or just do some sort of, um, maybe not, obviously not on Christmas day, but maybe for um, the day after when you've had all the calories, go and do a gym session or maybe not the day after, the day after that. If you want to spend some time with family, go and lift some weights and um, get the, the water and the, the blood pump around the body and make use of those calories. You get some good muscle gains then as well because uh, you, you've loaded up on the calories. So get into the gym, lift some weights. And what else? Yeah, so basically the four, tip, four top tips I would say there, and drink plenty of water as well. So keep drinking water as well. Um, you know, try not to forget about that. Try and be mindful that, you know, Christmas day, if you're gonna go all out on that day, just the days around that, just try and bring in a fast in the mornings, drink plenty of water, move, go out for walks, stay active. Um, like I said, fast, give yourself a gap, a big gap between eating if you've gone overboard. The next morning, skip breakfast. It's quite simple, but it's a good effective tool. Um, and as I say, just try and stay a little bit active. Don't be a complete couch potato. Move around a bit, you know, have a little, fun, a little fun with family and friends, a bit of running around, whatever you've got to do. Uh, and as simple as that then, really. But yeah, and as I said, leading up to it, if you can maybe cut back a little bit, so you're not going too overboard. Um, and that's pretty much it then, really. So let's just say, drink plenty of water. Okay, in order, right undulate your calories so cut back any calories maybe a day or two before and see how that goes intermittent fasting so the next morning you want to give yourself a break or at least for you know the best part of the day if you can just literally go without food drink plenty of water have some coffee and when you do break your fast have a decent meal and even if you do eat some more crappy food then later on um, just be mindful and the following day if you've gone overboard give yourself a break again the next morning do a little fast Fasting works a treat. Um, like I said, maybe lift some weights or at least get a pump on. So you're doing some push-ups or whatever, some squats, even if it's 10, 15 minutes, works a treat. And then, uh, yeah, as I say, with the movements, keep moving, simple as that. Boom, and that will keep you in a healthier state in your mind going into the new year. And you're not gonna put on a, you know, a significant amount of body fat then. So look at that view, it's not too bad, is it? So yeah, that was my tips. Um, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Martin Silver Fitness and check out my podcast. I'm going to be releasing a new one where me and my friend talk about uh, how to stay in shape over the festive period and a bit more details and uh, so his, his insight on it as well. And yeah, subscribe to my YouTube channel, please. Thank you very much. And um, don't forget to subscribe, more importantly, on my website for free. You can subscribe and you'll get uh, newsletters from me and free, that's free fitness content and soon you'll be getting an ebook as well. So don't forget to sign up for that, peace.